I don't understand why I have to go on air. I'm in a lot of pain and I can barely move. You've been off air long enough, Albert. You can't just fester in that wheelchair. Me and Dave have been doing all the heavy lifting and it's about time you got back to work or you'll face the consequences. Consequent lass, we're going to Muggs this evening, aren't we? Can't be having dead air now. That doesn't make us any beans. Oh, I don't know, Dave. I haven't been on air since that bloody wasp beat the living shit out of me. And it nicked all of our bloody sugar. Look, Albert, you just get on with your shitty show. And you'll be sleeping in the shed tonight. (laughs) Sleeping in the shed? Something's different about them two. I can't put my finger on it. Why are they being so nice? And Dave's grown six inches. Huh. Anyway, evening listeners, welcome back to Happy Hour with me, Miserable Albert. More miserable than usual, as I'm still recovering from the horrific injuries dealt to me by the invading wasps. For members of the posh upper echelons of society, they don't even use front doors. There's a bloody great hole in the window still. Anyway... I managed to crawl back into the bath where I slept for three weeks until Fog and Dave finally returned from wherever the hell it was they went. They won't tell me. I think it was some kind of fancy dress raiders convention. They've got all the demented Dan range on. Leathers, spikes, screwdrivers, taps, the lot. It's good to have them back though. So my voice is hurting so I'll just get on with the first track. It's about the old legend of the human robot man, Simon Borg, I think. You must have heard it. Anyway, here's a song about that, by Looney Trousers. He was a squishy person just like you He sneezed so hard his skeleton flew out of his nose But all those crazy scientists knew what to do They put his brain inside a body made of metal And then replaced his skin with neoprene They gave him laser eyes and giant pogo stick legs But they couldn't change the fact that his mind was obscene Better off in a robot body. You're better off in a robot body. Goggle cement in your robot body. Make gutters bent in a robot body. Punch through a tree with my robot body. I don't have to wait with my robot body. I'm better off in a robot body. We're all better off as machines. For over 200 years Getting drunk on engine oil He has a predilection for mechanical things In his wake he leaves rusty tractors to spoil He can't remember love because he hasn't got glands Even though his looks can kill He does the best he can with his titanium hands And had his penis replaced with a pneumatic drill I'm better off in a robot body You're better off in a robot body Got no pubic hair on my robot body So I wear a wig there on my robot body You can fuck JCBs in a robot To end my life inside this shell Find an opener of tins And get me out and about You 
see I'm as mad as a dog in a cattery You don't know the pain of my overcharged battery He has no emotions, at least that's what we think He's a bad man with no cares He does as he pleases, spreading diseases To the AI bots who download his software So if you think you've seen him wandering out of the muck You'd be wise to keep away And never dress yourself up as a pickup truck Cause his program brain always skips the foreplay I'm better off in a robot body You're better off in a robot body Nuclear stuff in my robot body Yes, I'm oiling it up My robot body You can plug into my robot body Dripping with sin, yeah, my robot body I'm jacking off in a robot body Where all better off is machine Well, that was a very sexual take on the legend. A bit different to the one my mum used to tell me when I was a nipper. But if rumours are true, then I'll be locking up my toaster good and proper every night. I don't want any mad half-human, half-robot monstrosities interfering with it. I might get jealous. It's been a long time since I felt anything but pain, so I'm half tempted to leave my curtains ajar, strap a pair of old car headlights to me bum cheeks, and cover the rest of myself with a car bonnet. You never know, I might get lucky. Although, thinking about it, knowing my luck I'll probably end up skewered like a Scottish kebab and get stuck on the end of his metal mickey for a few weeks. (sighs) Never mind then. I'm still looking for dates, by the way. I've had no takers. If you're not sure what I look like, imagine the best-looking person you can think of. Done that? Right. Then imagine they're made of candles. Okay? Now, in your mind, put them on a rotating platform next to an open fire for about half an hour. And that's basically what my better lucky and older brother looks like. (sighs) So anyway, here's another song for you. It's called Who Pulled My Pork by the Master Bakers. (laughs) 